so it is beginning to record. Uh, I am also going to use the transcripts feature in order to take notes for me. So it will just do dictation and take notes for everything. Uh, so that is going to begin as well as our note taking process. So now we have transcribe on as well. All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, I appreciate your time and your patience. So we are beginning a little later than we had planned. Uh, today we are starting a joint uh, study uh, for the SEIU um, contract negotiations process. Uh, this is in no way part of negotiations, but this was a part of the collective bargaining agreement for all three of the SEIU um, uh, uh, CBAs from last year, or the one that is currently in process. So in the para, it is listed as Appendix uh, G. In the regular, it is Appendix F. And in the supervisory, it is Appendix G as well. And what we're here today to look at is a joint study in which the teams had asked us to look at. And it is for this specific statement. They want the parties uh, agree to establish an ad hoc joint study committee of six appointees from each party to study and make recommendations to the superintendent and the Service Employee International Union concerning an education incentive award program. Such joint study committee is charged with completing its task no later than 30 days prior to the bargaining of the 2020 or 2025 calendar year. That is the uh, end of the, um, uh, that 2025 calendar year beginning is when the new contract would begin for SEIU. Now, then I wanted you to know that this week we did do an MOU that was between SEIU and the district that waived that 30 day waiting period. So we now can begin bargaining earlier than that 30 day period, um, which is a good thing because this year, the, all three of the SEIU um, uh, CBAs are full books. So this one is a bit more of a process to where we have the ability to look at everything within the contract. So we wanted to be able to not have to wait 30 days before we started negotiations. So let's go ahead and look at today's objectives. First thing is let's talk about who's here today. Uh, I am Diane Wyatt. I am a director of HR compliance and processes and labor relations. So I am the facilitator today. So I'm not on either uh, union district. I'm just kind of helping move along the process of what we're doing today. And we've got members from each side of that are representing the uh, SEUI that were brought to the table to talk about our process today, along with the district. Uh, and they're representing each group. And I'd like for you to introduce yourselves and tell us where you're located for the specific members for the team. And then we'll have anyone else that's representing either group as well. So if our uh, SEIU members could introduce themselves and just go down the list uh, and tell us where you're located and what your function is. Doris Motley with Maintenance um, Logistics Warehouse Lead Support. Thank you. Ms. Blackshell? I'm Aisha Blackshell. Transportation Coordinator, North Facility. Thank you. Next. Jamil. She might not be able to uh, 
undo her mic. <coughs> Chandra Verapan, Jerry Thomas Elementary, and and Jamili Aljuni, Jerry Thomas Elementary. Thank you. All right, and uh, then our last, Miss Miller. We lose Miss Miller. She might not be able to see where she's currently at, but uh, she's transportation South Kaka. All right. Thank you so much, Irvin. All right. And let's go ahead and the district members on the team. Yeah. Hi. I'm uh, Craig Singletary. I am the general manager for Mainz's Plan Operation, and I run day to day operations here in Mainz, located at 3300 Summit Boulevard. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Allison Moblo. I'm Director of School Food Service. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin McCormick. I'm the Executive Director of ESE. Good morning. I'm Lori Barefoot. I'm the Manager for Compensation located here in the Fulton Holland Building. Morning, everyone. I'm Terry Jensen. I'm the General Manager of Payroll and Disbursements, and I'm here at the Fulton Holland Holland building as well, and I oversee the payroll and um, accounts payable departments. Good morning, everyone. Shane Sartwell, Director of Transportation. Good morning. My name is MJ Steele, and I'm the Director for the Department of Early Childhood Education, and we oversee the VPK and School Readiness Early Childhood Programs. Okay, and we do have uh, a few others in the room. Uh, Erwin? Yes, uh, Erwin Sinais, uh, Union Representative for um, SEIU, Florida Public Service Union. Um, yeah, glad to be here. And I think that might be it, because Joseph, I believe, is only his note taker. <laughs> yes, I believe so. And uh, just, uh, just to reiterate, you have already done so beautifully, Ms. Diane, but just to reiterate to the Members, this is not negotiations. This is specifically around an educational incentive, um, and you guys get to give input about it. And um, also, um, negotiations uh, will start. We have the ability to start that after these sessions. Um, we'll come with, the, with that date, but this is not negotiations. Just want to clear that up. And the MOU actually says we don't have to wait until after this. We can start mm -hmm. while we're still in the middle of this. So that is a nice thing. And and I actually wrote it again, or when you're in the same way I am. The purpose of this here uh, is the study is to hear what each side has to say about the outside of negotiations. This is no way negotiations. Absolutely. All right. So our timeline, even though this says 30 days, the MOU sign says that we don't have to uh, wait that one. Um, and we um, this is to begin our conversation. So we are, have our history. The previous uh, CBAs, as I said, had um, the request to look at education incentive plans. Um, I was not around during the previous incentive, uh, previous uh, uh, co uh, collective bargaining agreements. So I was not there during that negotiation but SEIU had asked that we look at it and talk about it. The way this works with the joint study is both groups has an opportunity for us to talk about it, ask questions, uh, um, explore the option of having education incentives applied uh, in the collective bargaining agreement that is coming up. So once you've looked at it, then each group, the members of each uh, team, then goes back to their um, group that will be representing them at the bargaining table. And they talk to them and say, this is what we would like you to negotiate for us. So we don't do anything here in the form of negotiations. You take what you've learned from the questions asked and the research that you do and you take it back to your representative and you let them tell know what you would like them to do on behalf of you. So knowing that, uh, 
and knowing that this came from a recommendation originally from SEIU, I put the union's perspective and concerns as the next item on it. Um, I'm not sure, Erwin, under union representatives, who would like to share or what you, if you want to give us some history of how this came to the table uh, and what might be, uh, what we might want to be looking at, questions that ha are there to get us started. To, to be honest, I wasn't really bought in on the beginning of these conversations. So it's kind of like a, a ground floor thing. I was okay. um, kind of introduced through the um, coffee chats where it was kind of speaking and Ms. Germain, who was in long, no longer here, said this was a um, deliverable that needed to be done. But what she, from what she kind of presented, it was something that can be built out and worked out from scratch with the members being part of that. There wasn't, I don't necessarily know the history of what's behind it, but we kind of move forward with what we want it to look like and have the members input on that. Okay. So that's kind of what I understood. Uh, members of SEIU, um, thinking about education incentives um, applied to you and what you might be interested in. Um, what do you have in your perspectives or your concerns? Anyone wish to open their mic and, and give us some ideas of what you're thinking about? Or questions you might have concerning it? Um, for incentive programs, I mean, for the employees or? Yes. Well, we um, stress that like a lot of drivers, since they do get up early in the morning, you know, and they have grade school kids, we've always expressed the fact that we would like some type of incentive with child care. Okay. Or, and aftercare. All right. Now that would be something you would bring back to your representative here. Our specific objective is dealing with education incentives. So this would be incentives around employees that have specific levels of education and giving incentives to that. Um, that's also um, if we could get like a resource to help out with the cost of education program, like i.e. myself, I'm in school for psychology right now. And um, when we were looking for like grants and things of that nature, a lot of other school districts have a grant for their employees, but Palm Beach did not. They didn't come up as a partnership with my university. So um, I think that will be a great addition or incentive for an employee. Okay. You know, I got the incentive one time. Um, I don't know. Like we have to do like those. Uh, we get like get like a certain point. Can we like waive this stuff? Because you know, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna spend my whole day doing this to get the incentive. Um, but are you asking for what to? Uh... wave doing what specifically you know the in service point i don't know like you know because you know i i did today i uh, apply last uh, last year um and they said you know i didn't meet the requirement or whatever because you know i'm not like i didn't i'm not like i didn't do the the points like it should be done okay so maybe more clarity on on what in service points what's it needed yes yeah so or, or in case you know we can waive them because you know we have the other requirement like you know we like we have like a the degree like it needs and the other stuff um so, so what i'm thinking is if you have other requirements mm -hmm. maybe it's looking specifically at the requirements that you have and then looking at how you can write your incentive plan based off of your requirements. So instead of saying I need 
in service from the district's plan say if I do these requirements, then this it's worth this type of incentive, which would keep yeah. it from being something extra. So that would be something that you would develop and say, I'm already required to do this, this, and this. Okay. Then how do I show that I've done it? And if I have done it, then it should be quite equivalent to something else. And, and you list what you would say that would be equivalent to. Okay, who do I need to talk to or to send an That's email? That's what you do and present to your representative and they negotiate it as part of the contract. Oh, right. So that's something that you give to your representatives, to Irwin and to Joseph, oh. for them to use as part of negotiations. Okay. Because that's Thank what we're you. here, you know, to kind of talk about, you know, how, you know, what's, uh, but here we're mainly dealing like with education. So, you know, how could, you know, if we're looking at an education incentive award, what type of structure could be out there to incentivize you for education levels? So, you know, that's, you know, uh, levels that you've already earned, not necessarily levels that you haven't earned yet. But before, like Ms. A was saying, she had completed so much of the in-service courses and she was getting compensated for it. Why didn't she get paid for it last year when she did the same thing? I, I have no idea since, you know, but it's, you know, based off of the, you know, the program in which she was in or the, the, the scale that, that they have. I, um, but it's whether or not, you know, the program that is there, if, it, if you're saying that the in-service points in the process to do it needs more clarity on it, uh, then that's something that, that could be worked on. Okay, yeah. so maybe 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 that's where we need to start. Maybe that's where we need to start because she's Miss A has been here for a while and she's been doing the same thing and last year she did the same thing and still didn't get paid. And she didn't understand why. So so maybe that's the you know where you guys start with your plan of it needs to be more simplified. Okay. And that could be it. you can present a plan that is, you know, that you say, okay, this would be something that would be uh, you know, equivalent for us to use. Okay. All right. Can anyone hear me? Yes. Um, I, I think it needs to be clarified because I don't think she's really understanding what this, this meeting is about. I don't think she's, it's clear to her what we're here for so if someone could actually Irwin or you yourself can actually explain to her what we're actually doing right now all right so we have two different groups represented here we've got our SEIU and we have our district group and the SEIU group asked that we come together to study educational incentives for the union members. Now, educational incentives would be incentives, usually they are monetary money, that is given to employees who have reached different educational levels. So the union would come up with a structure that they would want to incentivize for members that have gotten that struck uh, that level so far so you would say anyone that has worked with us for so many years and has a high school diploma or a one year of college two years of associate's degree a master's degree or you could start coming up with some type of structure to give 
an incentive for levels of education. That would be considered an educational incentive plan. That was what we were asked to come together to study. Uh, Erwin, do you have anything to add to that? Um, nothing that's that's perfect. Um, other than obviously we're building this from scratch. But can we, even though this is not a um, this document is not necessarily um, in use right now, what I do know is that. Um, ASOP at the time did have a sort of structure or something similar. Um, is that something we can look at and work off of and you know edit and kind of create off of? Is that something we can you do guys here? Can, is that something we do on yeah, our own you guys, Yeah, okay. Yes, 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 absolutely. You guys can pull from anything you want okay. and say, we like this, and this is what we want to bring and recommend. Because, okay. like you said, you're starting from scratch. There's nothing there uh, to do. I'll, I'll share um, that. I'll share that with everyone on this call as far as the, the members. The yeah. also, other thing I wanted to throw in, I know, um, again, since we're building this, when we say educational incentives, I know, obviously, the first thing is, you know, um, diplomas, degrees, things like that. Um, is there room for also certifications that members might have to receive for their for their um, positions or, or job classifications you have room for anything you want okay. to put on the table all right well that's that's all okay that's good. you know because you're the one bringing it so as as in and the fact that it is an uh, open book full book mm -hmm. you're not limited to items of what you're bringing okay um, so so you have that room um I, I am seeing if I can pull up the ASOP right now. So give me a second. Because, because this will give you a, a way, a place to go back to the table as a group mm. and, and work on. Yeah. And, and then when we come back to the next meeting, maybe you've got questions from it that we can answer. Because um, since there's not one, okay, hold on. Let's see if when I move this over, if it takes over my screen. Uh, all right, there it is. Okay, so this is from the ASOP, which is uh, an example. And mm -hmm. what they did was they wrote out that the education incentive awards are a following schedule. I think I'm at the beginning of it. Let's make sure. Yes. Uh, and they listed basic award, high school diploma and two consecutive years of employment. Uh, and they listed some items and that the employee, this is not big enough for you guys to see. Hold on. Is that better? Yes. All right. Uh, and they listed that, you know, if they received a high school diploma and worked for two years, went on to do coursework of, you know, listed specific items, uh, then there was a $200 incentive uh, for level one or, and they listed, a, you know, A and B. They moved on, you know, a B structure gave a 300. They went into a level two for 400. That gate knew that would be for three consecutive years and five consecutive years. So that the, you know, as they continue to build within service hours with the district or what, you know, ever they were able to earn more additional uh, incentives at the uh, end of the year. And they structured it for advanced awards with different levels. And that went 500, 600. And there's a professional award that went for certified administrators with organizational management. And 
They listed it that way. So they built out a structure in which they presented and negotiated pieces and it went back and forth and that was their structured board. Um, okay. And, and this still continues into it to where they did main, you know, how would you maintain it? And what happens for those that are grandfathered into it? So, you know, so you're definitely, this would be part of your research. Okay. And that you could bring that, you know, any pieces of this that you thought were possible forward. So, okay. so you're definitely starting with a clean slate for this. Mm -hmm. And and you could you know come forward with it, but your this committee is specifically to talk to education pieces mm -hmm. uh, for it. But if there's other items that your group wishes to study, uh, uh, then you you know or wishes to bring forward, then you work with that as when you come to negotiations and you take them uh, forward on your side. Okay. Good Does that, that 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 example since you brought it up, you know, I could show it to you. Does that make it clearer? Um, I like the members. How did members? How do y'all feel about it? Absolutely. I just feel like it's minimal instead of like it's helpful, but I feel like it could be a lot more. But see, and it's the ball's in your court because yes. you get to kind of design it and all. And this is not a negotiation side. This is where we're kind of talking about you. There, you've got options that you can present, and and what you think might be possibilities. Yes. Yeah, I, I understand. I'm I'm just giving my perspective. Yeah. In service, I meant. Ms. Berrapind, uh, I didn't quite hear you. Is there any way that they can waive the in-service points? I I don't know that that there's a way to waive it because in you know, waiving a responsibility for an incentive is just giving away. You know, in, I, there, there has to be something that they're that being done for it. I mean, I, I don't see just waiving it, but uh, that that I don't see. But I, because that those mind. those those um courses, it takes over two days to do. They only pay you one hundred and fifty. Maybe they need to pay more for it. Then maybe I should rephrase that. And, and, they need and, to and, pay more for those incentive for those incentive courses, and, 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 and maybe that's part of what you ask for when you're yeah. looking at what you bring back to the table. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. um, where we're at, and I appreciate all you have been a part of this. But where we're at is, um, if members, if you if you choose, is using what was just um, um, shown, where um, ASAP kind of did a little bit of work around. Um, the educational center program. We can use that as a skeleton, as a template. But y'all have the free will to delete, add, destroy totally, or add to it, or whatever. Um, or say we're not, you know, using this as a template at all. But I was just suggesting it as something, a body of work to work from, but with all the autonomy and all the room um, to make it fit what y'all feel um, makes sense for your job classifications or your fields um, in, in, in general. So what I'll do after this call is definitely share it with all of you, get some input as well. We can go back to other memberships within those respective bargaining units, get more input. And um, so this first conversation, obviously at least I think it was a good conversation because that led to at least this part led to you um, all seeing what is involved, what's kind of there. Obviously there was nothing um, there for um, our bargaining units. Um, so now we have the opportunity and y'all have the opportunity to design and be the creators of what is established. Um, and like uh, Ms. Diane was saying, we're not negotiating it here. This is where we're kind of, um, and I think we're, this is where the work is happening, where we're kind of um, finding 
what is the research that needs to be done? What are the questions that need to be raised? And by the time we get to this next session next week, um, we'll be even more um, ready for the type of questions um, that may need to be cleared up. And then when we go to actual negotiations, we've already discussed what we want to kind of bring to the table officially. Um, so we're at a good spot. At least we have a template, if so, um, want to be used to work from. And everything that's been um, said so far about whether it's in service points or being paid more for certain things, or um, like Ms. Maisha just pointed out, needs to be built out more. All of those things we have the ability to do. Um, this is just the beginning of finding out, um, okay, well, from where are we starting? Um, what are we actually thinking about? I think this conversation helps, and y'all tell me if not, helps kind of um, kind of stage or kind of, uh, you know, kind of phrase out what is it that we're, we're actually doing here and working from. Hopefully that's a lot a little clearer. Um, there wasn't an educational incentive program. Um, there is one that we just saw that was kind of created. We can work from that and figure out what actually works for you guys and y'all get to be the creators of that. So, um, so any of the things you're thinking, there's no necessarily the no or you can come from this space. Um, it comes later in negotiations, but y'all get to anything that's coming to your mind, we get to look at and see what we can make happen. All right. So, and, and I just wrote, you know, you're going to build an education incentive program using ASOP to start or build from scratch. Um, and uh, uh, then since we're starting from scratch, we, you know, don't, you don't really have any questions right now for us because you get other than what we've already addressed. Um, uh, district side, are there any questions? I, I think since they're starting with a clean slate, we're we're kind of waiting for the next step to see what they might come up with, and and then then we can kind of go from there um, for it. Um, our you know our next step would be you know when we come back to the table you think uh erwin you'll have you know some specifics to to talk about ask questions about in order to help finalize what you end up with for your you know your side's presentation anything that you might need from us uh you could ask at the table when we come back no, um, absolutely uh, this first this first um session was to get the grounding on on you know what we're really doing and just and i think this helped do, do that then from here we'll do the work to um through each bargaining unit to see you know what's the best um recommendations and then we'll definitely have um something by the next session um, yep and, yeah. and they can be you know they can be the same for each one of your units or they can you know be tweaked differently as each unit is needed uh you know that's the completely up to you guys. Um, all right. So Erwin, when do you guys think, do you think coming back to the table a week from now or two weeks? Members, what do you think? I think about two weeks that'll give enough time to get everybody's perspective on it. Yeah, I think so also. All right. Well, two weeks from today is Halloween. Would we rather do it that the day after Halloween and do it that Friday morning? Is that possible? Or would we rather do it on Halloween? The day after will be fine for me. Uh, yes, Miss Miller. Well, maybe we need to do it in a week. Is that too short? Um, of a time? No, I was. I'm fine with two weeks. I just wanted to give you plenty of time to work on your plan. Okay. Erwin, what what's your thoughts? Um, I think it makes sense. Um, we'll do our due diligence to 
come up with those recommendations from each bargaining unit. Um, I think I guess the question was on Halloween, after Halloween, on that Friday, and what's a good time in general. Um, I know there was a little bit of challenges for the nine. That's that's my thought. I just wanted to um, get this going, but so also a suggestion frame. And would that Friday after Halloween work? I guess would be the um, question now. Okay, then that's, that's fine with me. Um, because you know, there. today we got like very short notice. You know, that's the thing. Right. Um, this will give us two weeks. Um, is is eleven o'clock on that Friday a good time? Yes. That's my Miss Miller says it's good. Uh, am I seeing? I see shaking your heads for Allison. Uh, um, How long is the meeting? An hour. Yeah, that's fine for me and Miss A. Miss Aljuni. And I will send out notices to all the uh, school representatives and let them know as well. Uh, uh, okay. Kevin, and we think we can do that. Or. Uh, all right, and MJ, we think that works for you. Okay, so I'm going to set it for 11 to 12 on Friday, November 1st. All right, sounds good. And I'll send out notices to all uh, supervisors for our staff today so that your supervisors have two weeks notice. Okay. Okay, that right, way they'll have you. plenty of time to plan, and we will come back to the table then, and it will be, you know, an hour. That should probably be our last meeting. We shouldn't need one after that because everything after that you would just take to your representative, and they will use that at negotiations. Okay? So. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you all for your time, and I uh, hope you have a, a good weekend. All right. Thank you all for Thank your you. flexibility. Thank you, members, for your inputs. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Right, you too. All right. Bye.